So when we're trying to solve circuits that are series or parallel, we can see the rules are very straightforward. But if we've got something like a circuit like this, where you'll see in this case, you've got areas that are both considered to be in parallel, but then this circuit is considered in series with this resistor or in this resistor. So you've got a mess. You've got a mixture of series and parallel circuits. So how do you go about solving this? Well, I've got four rules on your cheat sheet that might be able to help you out. Rule number one. Simplify the parts of the circuit you recognize. Number two, if given two values, find the third. Number three, transfer information to the same. And number four, redraw every time you change information. So we're going to pick on this circuit right here to start off. What you'll see in this part is we've got two pathways that the electrons go on. So what I find is easiest to do is I'm going to start at the elect uh, negative end, and I'm going to use a different color for every pathway I see here. So in this particular case, there are two pathways in which the electrons could take this inner pathway, or we have this one that's the outer pathway that goes along this resistor right here. So there are three possibilities. One, this six and four resistor are in series. Although they are in series, they're not considered in simple series. Why is that? Because not all the electrons that go through the four ohm resistor go through the six ohm resistor. If all the electrons that went from the four went through the six or vice versa, then it's considered a simple series. That's why the three and four aren't considered in series either. But what you will notice is at this spot right here, I'm going to highlight it in blue. The electrons break off and they either choose to go down, they either choose to go down the resistor or they go across. In either case, they're going to meet up again right here. Between those two points, the green electrons only go through one resistor. The red electrons only go through one resistor. Therefore, by definition, this is a simple parallel circuit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rule, circle what we know and transfer the information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mathematical simplification on this. I'm going to try to redraw this circuit here. Okay. So there's our negative end, positive end. And what you'll see is I've drawn this circuit right here. And what I've done is I'm pretending that these two resistors that are in parallel are one resistor. Now, if you remember from our previous video, if circuits are in parallel, we add up the reciprocal of resistance. So 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 is equal to 2 ohms. And you can try it on your calculator if you want to double check that. So now what we've got is we've got a 2 ohm resistor, a 4 ohm resistor, and we've got a 12 volt circuit. Okay. So we simplified the part of the circuit we recognized. We recognize that those two parts were a parallel circuit, so we circled them. Okay. Now, what we did is we changed information, so we redrew it. So now we've got an example of a simple series circuit. So we know that 4 and 2 is going to be equal to 6 ohms as my resistance. Now we know two pieces of information, the 12 and the 6. So according to our rules right here, if given two values, find the third. That's what we're going to do right now. We know if it's 12 volts and 6 ohm, According to our formula, R is equal to V divided by I, we've got an example of 2 amps. We know it's going to be 2 amps right here. Our last rule on here, transfer information that it's the same. Well, what do we know? We know that if it's 2 amps right here, because this is a series circuit, it's going to be 2 amps right here. And if it's 2 amps right here, we know it's going to be 2 amps right here. So now, therefore, we've got two pieces of information we can solve for the third. We know that 2 times 2 is going to be 4 volts, and we've got 8 volts right here. Now what we can do is we can start to transfer information back that is the same. So we can see that we haven't done a redraw on this battery right here. So any information that's right here is going to be the same over here. So 12 volts, 2 amps, and 6 ohms. This 4 ohm resistor, we haven't done a simplification on this. This is identical to the resistor we have over here. So we can say it's 8 volts and 2 amps. Now this piece right here, this is a simplification of these two resistors right here. So now we need to go back to our rules and say that this is a parallel circuit. What is always the same in a parallel circuit? The answer is voltage. So we know that in this case, it's going to be 4 volts right here, and it's going to be 4 volts on the other one. So let me just erase that so I have a little more room to work. Okay. So we know both of these cases are going to be involving 4 volts. So if we know two pieces of information, we can solve for this third. So 4 divided by 3 is 1.33 amps. And 4 divided by 6 is 0 0.67 amps. Now I know there's some rounding in there, but can we see that 0 0.67 plus 1.3 is equal to 2? We can. Therefore, this is, circuit makes sense. Let's do our next example right here. 
Okay, this one's a little bit more complicated. Okay, we've added an additional resistor here. So what we can see right here is yet again, we're gonna to have to draw the pathways. We've got electrons traveling down here. We'll call it the red pathway, and then we'll have our green pathway. The green pathway will head down and we'll head the lower path before joining back up. Now our previous example, we were able to simplify these two resistors right here, but we can't in this case because we can see the red electron goes through two resistors in this case, whereas down here, the pathway, it only goes through one resistor. So therefore, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to say this one right here, this pathway, this is an example of a series circuit. So what we're going to do is we're going to redraw the circuit, but that's the only change we're going to make. Okay. Now, in this particular case, we're not changing that, so it still says 6 ohms. We're not changing that, so it says 2 ohms. We're not changing this, this stays 12 volts. This one here is a simplification, and because they're in series, we've added them together straight. So 8 plus 4 is 12 ohms. Now we need to ask ourselves, do we have a simplified series or parallel circuit? We don't. We still have a mixed circuit. And now this is going to look a lot like we had in our previous example. These two here are in series. I'm sorry, they're in parallel. So therefore, we're going to circle, uh, circle that, and we're going to redraw it, pretending it's one circuit. So... In this particular case, this stays 12 volts, this stays 2 ohms. Now these two, these two are simplified, and therefore we don't add them together. It's not 18, it's going to be 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12. So that's going to be equal to 4 ohms. Now do we have a simplified series or parallel circuit? Absolutely do. So when we add it 4 and 2, this is going to become 6 ohms. If we have 6 ohms here, we know two pieces of information. We can solve for the third, which is 2 amps. If we've got 2 amps here, we've got 2 amps here, and 2 amps here. If we know the two pieces of information at these spots, we can figure out the voltage. Now we can take a look. Can we take any of this information and transfer it back to our original circuit? We can, because this 12 volt right here hasn't been changed. So we've got 12 volts, 2 amps, and 6 ohms. We also know this resistor here hasn't changed. So therefore, I've got 4 volts, and I've got 2 amps. Now this here, this 4 here, is a simplified of these two right here. So we need to transfer information not back to the original drawing, but to this drawing right here. So it becomes 8 volts and 8 volts. Now if we've got this information right here, we can calculate that the current here is 1.33, and it's 0 0.67 here. Now this identical, this resistor right here, is identical to our original resistor, so we can write down 8 volts and 1.33 amps. I'm going to have to make a little bit of room here, because in this particular case, this circuit here is a simplification. That these two. So we know in this particular case it's simplification of a series circuit, so this becomes 0 0.67 amps and 0 0.67 amps. So now that we know the current and the resistance at this place, we can figure out that's going to be 2.7 volts here and 5.3 volts here. 5.3 volts and 2.7 is going to be equal to 8 volts, which is what we started with. So we can see a circuit is simplified. 